Hi, welcome to Preschool Storytime from the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Shana and I'll be your storyteller. I thought we'd start with a song. It's probably familiar to you, so feel free to join along. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, turn around. If you're ready for a story, turn around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, turn around. If you're ready for a story, do all three. If you're ready for a story, do all three. Turn around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, do all three. Turn around. <laughs> Wonderful. Feeling a little dizzy though. <laughs> do you hear that? Whoop. Whoop. Storytime Fairy, are you okay? Let me help you. Oh my goodness, what is this? Long tail Storytime Fairy. Whoa! Wow! Storytime Fairy, way to make an entrance. I don't know if you should be flying a kite. Well, I'm guessing story time's about flying kites. <laughs> well, thanks, story time fairy. I can't wait. Bye. Today's story is called Stuck. It's written by Oliver Jeffers and published by Philomel Books, an imprint of Penguin. Thanks, guys. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw up his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. Mm -hmm. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Who's Mitch? The cat. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. Mm-hmm. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. Mm -hmm. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the sink, the family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down the family car. Did you get up here the same way? He says to the cat. An orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. Floyd. 
a lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street, a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Hi, what are you doing? And they all got stuck. Oh dear. Wait till I tell your mother, she's shouting. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the engine, whew, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and he went to find a saw. Brilliant. He lined it up as best he could and hurled it into the tree. Pop. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree, and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He'd forgotten all about his kite, and he put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hmm, what could he possibly have been forgetting? Right? What could he possibly have been forgetting? <laughs> and that was Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. Will you help me count and say the colors of these kites? One little kite in the sky, so blue. What color is it? Red. Along came another. And then there were two. One, two. And this one is orange. Two little kites flying high above me. Along came another. And then there were three. One, two, three. And here we have yellow. Three little kites, just watch them soar. Along came another green. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little kites. So high and alive, along came another, and then there were five. One, two, three, four, five, and this one is purple. Five little kites dancing across the sky. What a sight to see, so way up high. I wonder what else they can see way up there in the sky. You can help me guess by listening to the rhyme, okay? Pretty kite, pretty kite, almost out of sight. What do you spy in that bright blue sky? It's shining bright. You can play in it and have fun. It keeps us warm. It's the big round sun, that's right. Sun is also up in the sky. Let's see, what else might, might the kites see? Pretty kite, pretty kite, almost out of sight. What do you spy in that bright blue sky? It's beautiful song is something you've heard. Tweet, 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 says my flying friend, the... Bird, very good. We can see birds up in the sky too, can't we? 
Pretty kite, pretty kite, almost out of sight. What do you spy in that big blue sky? Hazy and lazy, it shades a crowd. It's like a big marshmallow puff. That's white. It's a cloud. That's right, we'll see clouds drifting by in the sky too, huh? Pretty kite, pretty kite, almost out of sight. What do you spy in that big blue sky? It soars through the air faster than a train. Its pilot is the captain of a fast airplane. That's right. How many of you have seen an airplane up there in the sky? Pretty kite, pretty kite, almost out of sight. What do you spy in that big blue sky? Take a wonderful ride on a colorful afternoon. Strings and a basket on a hot air balloon. That's correct. And those are other things you might find soaring way up high in the sky, right? Great job guessing. This story is called Love is in the Air. It's based on this book by Jonathan Fenske. The cake was gone. All the children had gone home. But Balloon was still tied to the table. He was all alone. He started to droop. Until there came a whoosh, gust of wind and with it, a new friend. Come with me, said Kite, and she rose on the breeze. Wait for me, said Balloon. He pulled and he pulled until snap, he was free. Hello, said Kite. Hi, said Balloon. Wait for me, said Kite. She pulled and pulled and snap, she was free. At last they were side by side. They flipped, they dipped, and they spun in the wind. They played in the clouds. and they rested in the warm sun. It was all such fun until the wind stopped blowing. Down, down, down drifted Kite, down and down and down until she landed on the branches of a tall tree. Balloon did not fall. He kept going up, up and up and up. He was so sad. He missed his friend. He did not see the bird. And the bird did not see him. Oh, down and down went Balloon. He tumbled around and around. It was such a long way down. <sniffs> he was getting dizzy. He was scared. At last, he landed. Plop! And Kite was there to catch him. The end. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed some of our stories about kites, and I hope you get to go fly a kite this spring on a nice windy day. Take care. We'll see you next time.